forsaken, gather us in the blind and the lame. All right, let's do this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Uper Farmer Cigar Garage Talks. Uh, unfortunately, the deck and porch talks have probably come to an end for this season. Uh, we definitely are getting a lot of uh, cold weather, wind, um, rain. Hopefully, we get some more rain. We're in a kind of a drought right now. But anyway, uh, that's not what the topic of this video is about. What are we smoking? What are we drinking? Tonight, we have Earth by Oscar Valdez. Um, I've had a few puffs of this cigar. I really enjoy it. His newest line of cigars is the Earth. Um, he has a box press one. It's called the Flat Earth. I'm just loving that. Um, that's awesome. Uh, they do have the uh, tobacco bands. So those are smoke through bands. I can't wait to try that flavor. Uh, for the drink tonight, we brought back an oldie but a goodie. Good old Red Jacket from q and Brewing Company. Um, definitely, this is, you know, I, I had that other beer the other night when we were talking about the exchange students. Um... Oh, I don't remember the name of the beer now. It was a blueberry beer. It might have had uh, botulism, but if it did, I didn't drink enough. Uh, I don't think it did. It's really difficult to get botulism in commercial beer. Um, whoops, there she goes. Red jacket, taken off. Nice red here. Yeah, good stuff. I'm like that. Blueberry one I was not impressed with. Um, but yeah, I don't, maybe it didn't have any, any ethyl methyl bad stuff in it, any bacteria or chemicals. Um, but yeah, just to be on the safe side, if you, if you're at all questioning a beer you're drinking or any drink for that matter, pitch it. It's not worth it. Um, so, uh, first off, before we get to tonight's topic, which is another wedding video, the, that are not the person I married video. And this one's, I'm kind of excited to talk about. This is on the list. Uh, real quick, I want to give you a quick update about Uper Farmer in general. Um, October, be ready, we have some epic videos coming up. Um, so besides the marriage series, which I hope you guys are enjoying, um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and maybe this is going to kill my channel, maybe I'm jumping the shark with this one. But I don't care, it's what I want to do and that's been my driving purpose with this channel, me doing what I want to do with it. Uh, but we have a couple of interesting additions. One, we are going to be tasting and I believe bottling the bad, the uh, Uper Farmer edition Bad Mo uh, rum. Uh, that's with the panella sugar in it. Um, I've really been loving that rum. It's delicious. It's, it's tasty. Um, really cannot complain. Very, very good, good rum. Um, and as I'm going to read a bottle, I'm kind of like, wow, you know, maybe I should make another batch of it. Um, how many Han, should I make another batch? Should I not? What should we do? Um, well, we just so happens we're in Mackinac City, and I uh, went into the Jamaican store. They have a Jamaican grocery store there, a little small shop at. Um, mostly it just is there for the other uh, Jamaican um, staff members to kind of get some food from home, which is good. Uh, but they have Jamaican brown sugar. Uh, which, again, I, I need to do more research. It's a specific type of brown sugar. It's got bigger granules. Uh, so, you know what? Panella is brown sugar. I have Jamaican brown sugar. And I found some very dark American brown sugar. So put them all together. What do you got? I think we have a new rum edition that we're going to hypothetically try. Uh, so be on the lookout. We'll do another um, how-to video. Um, how to brew this hypothetical rum. Um, and then maybe another video talking about how you would hypothetically uh, distill it, since that's illegal and we would never do that. Although, coming coming to uh, Texas near you, uh, home distilling might become legal here. Uh, there's a lot of hubbubaloo about that. If you haven't followed, there's a court case even um, where uh, a judge ruled that this almost 180-year-old uh, law is unconstitutional. So more to follow on that. I can't wait. I'm also excited. This is my uh, my birthday this month, and <clears throat> my wife has decided she is going to find some epic birthday gifts, including buying me some cigars. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to have my birthday, smoke a birthday cigar with my wife, and she can talk about the uh, the trials and tribulations of trying to pick out cigars um, for a cigar smoker. I think that's just gonna be a fun video. 
Uh, the non-smoker buys, buys cigars. Um, she has some pointers for you, some tips, I'm sure. Um, some stories, I hope. But be on the lookout for that. So yeah, lots of interesting videos. Very excited. But let's kick on this one off. Marriage video. Not the person I married. You're not the person I married. Uh, don't be alarmed. This is not talking about divorce or marital struggles. Those videos are coming. Um, this one more is talking about getting into a relationship with someone. Kind of talking a little bit about should I be marrying this person? And then how you're, you as a person will most likely evolve and probably should evolve during your marriage. Um, so first off, let me be the first to tell you, no, you cannot change a person. Um, too many of my friends that I've, I've known will be dating someone. And they're like, you know what? They're perfect except X, Y, or Z. Uh, they're too, uh, too chauvinistic. They're too much into sports. They're, they shop too much. They're too feminine. Uh, but you know what? If I marry them, <clears throat> I bet I can change them. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you, don't do that. Um, don't do that. You, you don't go into a relationship marrying the dream they could be. Uh, if they're a drug addict and you don't like that, don't marry them. Uh, because, one, that's you're marrying something that isn't there yet. You're marrying a promise that may never come, a fantasy. And we always teach our kids, you know, don't chase after your fantasies. You know, be based in reality. Well, if that person truly is not your ideal partner, don't, don't go into that relationship thinking you're going to change them. You should only ever marry someone who you love them as they are. A little interesting, the cigar already kind of went out. I didn't think I was talking that much. Um, yeah, marry, marry the person for who they are. Not for who they could be, not for who you can change them into, but for who they are. That being said, um, I am not the person that homeschooling mama married almost 20 years ago. And let me tell you, homeschooling mama is not the person I married 20 years ago. Now, that's not a bad thing. As we age, as we grow, we're going to change, right? The only constant in life is change. Um, now, I did not want her to change. Um, I loved her for who she was, and I wanted to marry the person she was. Um, but, again, as uh, we started to live together, started to grow together, started to grow a family together, we do very slowly start changing. Um, so when I first met my wife, she wanted nothing to do with animals, homesteads, gardening, farming. Um, she was a city girl. Self-professed city girl. Um, I was a country boy. But not only that, with my dyslexia, I had a very low regard for reading and writing. Um, I had no want to ever really write. Um, well, I, I had a want. All, all dyslexics want to write. Uh, but I had no want to uh, or desire to write to write down a story or a book. I was more interested, let's shoot a movie. Uh, let's do an audio where I just tell stories. Kind of like this format, actually. Um, this is kind of an ideal format. Sit down, tell stories, um, verbally exchange information. Now, I did not marry homeschooling mama. I say, that's okay. I'll change her. I'll turn into a country girl. And she didn't marry me saying, that's okay. I'll change him. I'll change him into a literary person. No. She loved me because of my dyslexia. I loved her because of her city girl. But as you live together, you need to grow together. So slowly, I started writing more. Um, not necessarily because it was a desire I had, but it's because I knew that's what was important to my wife. I knew she liked writing, she liked reading, she liked books. So for her, I decided to grow and develop. 
Now, I did not expect homeschooling mama to at all ever get into farming and gardening. But she knew that it was part of me. It was part of who I was, or who I am. So she started to slowly get into it. Chickens, gardening, uh, beekeeping now, uh, butchering animals. Uh, where I started teaching about literature, learning about literature theory. Um, I've, I've written a few books, 50,000 word books. Um, <clears throat> that I am, will admit they're not great, but I did it. Something I never thought I would ever do in my life or something I wouldn't look forward to. Uh, November coming up next month is NaNoWriMo month, um, which is about writing a novel. Every single, uh, for writing a novel within 30 days. If you told my parents when I was in high school that one day I'd be looking forward to a novel writing month, they would quickly have you committed. So, yep, I'm still a farm boy. But I've grown. And I've grown with my, my wife. And I've developed who I am. Have I holistically changed? I think some people would say yes. But was it a change that homeschooling mama said, well, I'm going to marry him so that he, you know, once I marry him, then I can change him. No. Uh, homeschooling mama, is she the person who she was? No. Uh, many people have said she's drastically different from the person they knew in high school and in college even. Did I marry her saying, yep, I can change this one. I can fix this one. No. No, I married the person who she was. As you should. As we all should. We shouldn't marry the idea of them or the potential. We marry who they are. Yes, they will grow and change. Uh, hopefully for the better. Um, hopefully they grow and change towards things that you are. Um, you get start getting like interests. Um, start doing like activities. Because it is about compromise. And remember, the only constant in life is change. The only thing that you can always count on is stuff is going to change. And that's what we're seeing in our relationship. That's what you see in every relationship, is that it slowly is changing. Hopefully you're changing together. Hopefully it isn't just one-sided. If it is, look into that. Um, kind of press in further about that. Figure out, is this truly what we want? And fix it. Again, don't marry someone because you think you can change them or make them a better person than they are. Marry them with the full understanding that that is the best person they're ever going to be. Is the one that they present themselves to you as. But do also remember, everyone's going to change. Um, I have a lot of other friends who, you know, they married the person for who they are, but they changed. And the person my friend didn't. And that caused a lot of marital strife. You both will grow and develop. And you will change as people being married. But the goal, the best outcome, is to change together. And... To change with each other as a unity, as a group, as a team. Because again, the only constant in life is change. And never marry someone for what you think they could be. Marry them for who they are. So there you go. 100% um, 20 years ago, I was not the person I am today. 100% 20 years ago, my wife was not the person she is today. Um... If I, for some reason, she was teleported back 20 years and I was who I was and she is who she is, would I still marry her? Now, that's an interesting question. That's a question maybe for another video. Something I got to think about. Would I at, what was I, 20 years old, marry the person who she is today? And would she marry the person who I am today? 20 years ago. Because I know where I'm at now. Yes, I'm going to remarry my wife. I'm excited to re to renew our wedding vows on the uh, on our 20th wedding anniversary. Uh, because who I am today loves the person she is today. 
But interesting question. Something to dive into. With the person me 20 years ago, love the person my wife is today. Hmm. Something to dive into. That's going to be a new topic. I didn't think about that one. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go enjoy my cigar. This one, for whatever reason, you got to you gotta keep doing drawing on it to keep it lit. So that's fun. But anyway, folks, again, marry the person who they are, but be ready for them to change after marriage. Stay safe out there. See you on the next one.